Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the City Council Joint Workshop with the County Commissioners for October 28th. Our first item on the agenda is an update on the Allen Creek Road project. Terry? At some point before we have a signed contract, we will have to have a resolution exercising the power in the domain. And everybody has in front of you today a example of that document that has been provided to us from ODOT. Um, and because of the situation that we have here, where the actual road that's being constructed is outside the UGB and it's strictly outside state limits, the county has jurisdiction. So most likely, it will be the county that will need to adopt the resolution that is being proposed. So we will have to work with the county to get that accomplished so that we can have a contract with our consultant to move forward. Now basically what this resolution does is it, it will state that at such point as it's necessary, if we, through every aspect and every means possible, we cannot come to terms with a property owner for the acquisition of the necessary right-of-way or easements, that the county or it would be the city, if we had jurisdiction, would indeed go through with condemnation if it was necessary. Um, so ODOT will not let the project be hung up for that reason, so that's why they require this resolution be adopted for the project to move forward. So we will have to work with the county to get that done. Ken, we've talked about a number of different designs where it could be maybe instead of just a straight street, we were talking about maybe to slow down the traffic we were talking. Could there be a problem, do you think, uh, that we would have to use the eminent domain uh, in that type of a problem if they don't like the actual design of the street? Oh, sure, that, that's always a possibility. I mean, I, I can tell you right now, we were, we've received a public records request from an attorney that represents somebody over there, or we would expect that they do, that is asking for what our right-of-way needs are and who we're planning to take property from. Well, we don't have any designs on what we're going to do in that manner yet because we haven't started the process. But so somebody over there is already very much interested and wants to know exactly what we're doing. Um, so yeah, somewhere through the process, there will be someone that you know will not be happy and may not, you know, no matter how much we offer them, want to provide the right of way. So you know, I guess to some degree, I'm hopeful that we don't have to use eminent domain, but I would be surprised if we don't somewhere along the process. Simon, so I've been following this process for quite some time since I've been on the board. Um, the joint Joe Spain County uh, Grants Pass RBF um, lobby RBF to reallocate $950,000 to help out with this project. And so there's a little, there's a history of Josephine County or previous boards being in favor of moving this project forward. But I think, um, I think we're going to have to talk about it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not prepared to give you an, uh, an up and down answer on this today. I guess I do want to clarify that we were told by ODOT that this needs to be in place before we sign a contract with the consultant to begin the design. So it isn't like we can do the design and come forward with this. This will have to come first. Lily and then Dennis. This is a project that was approved on jointly prior to us going into this. And so we didn't say we're going to go in and take all this property away for the sake of taking the rights of landowners away uh, and leave the county out of it and just wholly through as the city. We, we were, like you said, this is a project that was a city county project through RV Act that was petitioned on. And so um, if ODOT says we can't go any further without this piece being in place, I would ask that you guys strongly consider what does that mean? Because we're here because of an agreement already in place to go forward. And so if you have to see the design before you sign the paper, and ODOT's saying you have to have the paper before we even enter a contract to make a design, we're going to not go any further. And so then we're out money after we've already made an agreement, we're told the county's on board. Uh, Dennis and then Mark. Uh, whatever, whatever money's happened in this thing, our coming, our, we're going to pay the bill. So you can stop it and cost us a lot of money and, you know, look like the good guy. 